Hello. Show you that AC fan. I'm back. Yeah, I was thinking about camping and my brother and how some people can be just so soft. Um, every time I go camping with my boys, it's um, tent and, and on the ground. My dad and brother like, we don't have to bring the air mattress, stuff like that. <laughs> like, uh, because we're camping. We don't need an air mattress. That must be, um, when I was in the Army, the 25th, at that time was light infantry. In other words, it was non, non mechanized. So, you know, even though we were support, you know, main support, we slept on the ground. I mean, we, had no, we had no cots. We had some cots in the, in the warehouse that was covered with spider webs and whatnot that had been used. <laughs> Um, I got there in the 90s. They said that my views have been used in the 80s. But no cots. But um, I was able to bring, you know, two man pup tents. Because over there in Hawaii, had those um, things, company ants, ladders, they're um, centipedes. They crawl on the ground and bite you, whatnot. So we just, um, was allowed to bring a tent. It's a thin little pup tent just to keep um, stuff away. Or we could just, you know, that time I was didn't want to spend the money on a pup tent. Was, well, you could use your um, your tent half. So each of us been, you know, we issued a half of a tent. Yeah. Which put together someone and um, it worked out just fine. Stuff crawling, I have some little bugs crawling on, on the ground. That's the only like thing we did when we went on our um, field problems. Besides driving trucks, or if I could sneak off, I was sleeping between the bows on the cargo, on those cargo five tons. Get some, get some breeze, and there's a breeze, there's no bugs. Because during that time, they they say DEET was bad and all the other stuff. And so the off and everything, that's where those um, mosquitoes went down in Hawaii, was laughing. You spray that stuff. And come and get you the vengeance. And one time it was, um, I wish we had the field problem. Oh, yeah, Jared TC. Let's do some training down there in Louisiana. And they got. They got definitely a lot of mosquitoes and stuff. Um, was it there? Oh, no, 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 no. This, no, this was in Hawaii. It's Hawaii. It was almost another part of the island where all the bugs was at. And this um, reserve officer, he was doing his thing with us over the weekend, and he let us use his, he had some old army issue um, insect repellent. And that stuff was good. He said, "Don't let small, small animals or kids lick your hands; they'll kill them." I put that stuff on me. I got some on my lips, and my lips was tingling. I'm like, "Oh yeah, this is some good stuff." <laughs> it lasts for three days. There's no getting past your mosquitoes and whatnot. Crazy. Go camping and bring all the comforts of home. I don't want to just stay home. I just rent a motel. Camp is supposed to be an experience. It's not, I, I make an experience with my boys. So. Rough fit. You know, kind of like we did Boy Scouts. It wasn't that rough. I mean, you know, we, we brought you know, prepared food and some stuff. We'd cook on the campfire. That's one thing that the army did like, we couldn't handle campfires. <laughs> that was my friends and Marines that called us Boy Scouts. I hate Boy Scouts. <laughs> but, um, camping. I think I had some good memories doing that. 
That's what I'm thinking about doing this next year. Take two weeks off. And in the middle of two weeks, I'll be meeting with my brother in Florida. Tentatively, that's the plan. Go to Disneyland or someplace like that. And um, the time then, but I'm going to leave out early because they won't fly. Like, that's that's expensive. Oh, yeah. I and mean, then my sister in laws were good about getting deals, whatnot. I mean, yeah, but you can't beat $200. I figured out to take 200 250 maybe 300 max for, for fuel. I said, yeah, but you have to put more hotel room. I'm like, I got a tent. I'll find a place to, put a pop, to pop a tent. <laughs> I'll throw a tent down, no problem. A lot of places, I ain't talking about places that you pay for a spot. I mean, 12 side of the road, hey, it's a good place for a tent. My river, do a little fishing, whatnot. Having, a, having an experience. You know, I know this manufactured, you know, memories, but something, you know, something that will stay with my boys. It's like they can talk about, yeah, thought we're going to die. <laughs> Okay, well, you can't hear what I'm thinking. I I'm, I'm bet you can, some guys can think back to when you was a kid, whatnot, some of the memories. Hopefully, you know, you got some good memories you know, of camping. I got the memories of Boy Scouts, you know, initiation for, like I have it first time I went to Boy Scout summer camp Jamboree, because I had the thing of, I think all the parents of the military, Navy, go figure. Um, I had to walk through camp, through the whole camp, Boy Scout place, but naked. I told them I had the diarrhea. I'm like, oh, look at that stuff. <laughs> the second time, I had to go through it. And um, so I did. Went through our, our camp and, you know, popping towels and whatnot. Then you had to pick up this log and walk through from where our camp is all the way down to the swimming hole. And these other Boy Scouts was making fun of us for being naked. And they knew me. They heard me growling. <laughs> they let go of the log. I was still holding it. I picked that thing up over my head. I <laughs> had <A> temper. <laughs> and probably hard on, too. Those guys took off. <laughs> took off. So we proceeded on, go down the swimming hole, and you know, went swimming naked. And oh, the women here was running. Oh, no, 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 no. you guys get out of here. We're like, yeah, yeah, they are, they are initiation, all right. And yeah, we was, you know, ba 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 ba. Our scout master, like, <laughs> yeah, they said, I don't want to do that stuff no more. <laughs> Good guy, you won't have to be someone else at the initiate next year. <laughs> Ah, uh, fun times. Yeah, um, in my first actual camping adventure with my actual Boy Scouts, I was I started with Weeblo, and um, was after you know the fight in the um, where we meet at. It wasn't a real fight; they just want to see what I was made of, you know. And um, the first actual camp out. I can remember was in the winter time. That's why I can remember it. There was snow on the ground, and um, they had a firing range. We went to had um, bolt action 22s, and I outshot everybody. You know, the youngest person there because I just came up from the Weeblos and outshot them. Yeah. Freddy Forecast. I remember my buddy always kicked me. 
He always took me off and I kicked him in the balls. But, um... <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. <sighs> but... Crazy. He's always trying to get, get me into things, I guess. Try give me at the jamboree. They try give me beat this big dude up, find this big dude. This dude was a big jerk. I don't know what they. They probably said stuff, got him mad at me. And you're freaking come on. You're, I'm thinking, why ain't you out here? So I turned around, kicked him in the balls. <laughs> don't be, don't get me into stuff. I really don't like to fight. Yeah, we got a younger brother with a big mouth and happened to be going to pretty much pretty much all black school. Yep, I mean I missed fights. Yeah, because I didn't do the I don't know what it was with kids in Virginia or, you know, black kids in Virginia. They try to step up to you chest to chest and look like they're trying to try gonna give you a kiss or something. And since someone got close to me, I'd, I'd, punch, him, I'd punch him in the nose. <laughs> punch him in the nose and, and stomp, <laughs> jumping up on them, dump them and knock them down and stomp, stomp their guts and literally, huh. When worlds collide. Yeah. Devin didn't make very many friends. Kim had a friend, he was my dad's partner in his construction business. And he was kind of like something just tolerated. I actually liked his younger brother better. His younger brother's real nice. But the other kid. I don't know, I mean, we got along, I guess, you know. We just played, played, I guess he was alright, just... Definitely a little different. But, um... There was stuff that's probably going on with his life that I didn't know about. It affects kids a lot. Yeah, start talking about um, 25th and Boy Scouts, camping, school. And right now, I'm heading to um, Pontin Beach. I had me I picked up a Union Liver load out, out of Jones Borough, Arkansas. Take it up to Pontin Beach, which it's a bigger. Um, Warehouse or factory, I don't know, they make stuff there, they store the stuff there. Just never know what goes on in those buildings. They might be processing people, I don't know. For the mark. That's yeah, some of my videos I talked about, another app or whatnot. That's that's theory. I just seem like it's got this overwhelming sense that's a foreboding sense of something's gonna happen. Maybe because or we got a weak president and I just don't have confidence. Make him makes kind of scary. It's like, oh, I think that, uh, anyways, tires gel. Extra hole. Let me see what kind of some stuff I'm carrying. So I think one you need to leave or get another. Yeah. 
Infinity Scrubs and stuff, St. Ive, Swab, Nexus, yeah. It's funny, you know, I really like my sister-in-law. Uh, she has this hang up about brand name items. And she was raised up in a trailer. And it's funny, people get stuck with this kind of brand name items. There must be something psychological about that. But brand name and store name, you know what the difference is? The bottle, the container. You know, like store brand chips. I mean, shoot. Depends what com what company actually has a contract with Walmart. One time, Lay's was making making Walmart brand chips, and whatnot. Now it's a another company that can't spread out. Um, I think it's the best place in that run. out of them um, one of the places out of Newark Arkansas they've got another one in Tennessee probably all over the place and yeah, they got rid of that, that big board um, yeah and yeah, they got their brand stuff they make and then they also make store brand for Walmart but Yeah, store brand. But back, back when I was a kid, they had generic. And times was simpler back then because they had a generic aisle. It was all white. In some states, some stores I have those yellow, yellow packages with black letters on them. It was the generic aisle. If something you wanted generic, you went there. Simpler times. But now they call them store brands. And it's mixed around with everything else. But, so people won't feel bad. Makes a turd, that's that's the main thing. If it makes a turd, that's all that matters. You know, tasting good, that's great. As long as it makes a turd. Talking okay, my oldest son being less picky when he's eating. I'm like, you won't ride me ride me when you get old enough with the in a truck. You got to eat what I eat. I just start liking sardines, tuna fish, whatnot. That's the oh man thing I eat. Man. Chicken meat, he doesn't know about that. I can't let him know about the good stuff until he's actually on board with me. Yeah. It's not the only thing I eat. That's my main thing. Help him keep my weight down. And fish oil's good for you. That's what they say. They, who's this? They. They, well, they said, who's they? That government, who is this they? Tell me, who's they? They this and they that. They, 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 they. Oh, yeah, it's something I just discovered by this truck beside me. Sure. There. It's a black little knob, black little bump thing coming out. Uh, that's the blind spot sensor. Now, you see on my truck, they don't have no fender mirrors. I said, 
and Vader mirrors cause you to have accidents. Cause safety, safety, safety. I say money. What they doing? When I first got this truck, yeah, I had some close calls. Close calls. But I adapted and I do all right. When we changed lanes, I let off the gas. As long as I'm out of crew, out of cruise, the crew to go off. Then I changed my lane. Seems to be okay. Maybe because I wiggled my truck a little bit. <laughs> Keep them out of my way. But the risk concern about, about safety, give these trucks with that sensor on it. I want to send an email to safety about that. That'd be something I'd want on, on a truck. But then would that make you um, kind of like overconfident? Oh, well, since you're not going off, and you happen not to be working. So. What's that in the back? Behind me. What's that behind me? Oh, no. Um. Yeah, I was listening to um, Skill Skillerix, Skillix. Yeah, I kind of like that kind of music. Not too bad. I was like, well, I could get into, I could get into that. Yeah. <laughs> but um, things are going good, and whatnot. Maybe had a. President that was more stronger with war, and I just, I don't know, maybe would wouldn't be feeling like any day now. <laughs> that, and I'm on, I'm coast to coast to try and push to these um, politicians to, to actually do something about our power grid, to insulate it, for EMPs and whatnot. Possibly be tack or solar flare or something. I mean, that could happen. I mean, I wish I had this one thing out where there's going to shoot a missile at us. That shoot for that down south where it comes around, around the globe. I guess that way, because supposedly our early warning system wouldn't pick it, pick it up. But I, I think it would. We don't know about our capabilities. We we are one of the highly influential countries in the world. But so is Rome. Maybe not. No, they're more influential than, than Rome. But anyways, I pretty much just motoring on with different things. So I like my company. I think it's going good. Wish they would start training new drivers out of school. So I think I'm actually going to do that. So I'm thinking about maybe next year jumping over to another company doing lease purchase as a trainer. That's where it actually pays off. Just get all the miles and whatnot and get the train. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be excitement. You know. You know train people. It'll be nice and, you know. And I think. I, I trained people when I was in the oil field, and you know, there was like they always had always 
if they decide to switch off with different trainers, I get guy for about three days and give him to somebody else. They'd be like, man, I wish I was back with George. I wish had fun. And they learn too. You can learn and have fun. But some of these trainers, they think that they are the last say on who, if you should be a truck driver for this company or not. If you got what it takes. You're a trainer. You're supposed to make them have what it takes. Because actually, the company thought they had what it takes. They hired them. It's your job to train them. You can't train them. It's you, the trainer, that's at fault. If you make the student all nervous, but not, they're gonna mess up. Most of the training, if you get them nervous, they're not gonna learn. Make it comfortable to learn in environments. I want to you know, go ahead and do that just to prove that yes, I'm right. Yeah. Might just next year. Qualification take two weeks. Then I gotta turn my truck. Take vacation and turn it in. You know, I mean, if it ain't my truck, it's their truck. They're assigned my assigned truck. Turn it in. You know, when I was um, out for a week for my mother's funeral, it just worked out where, you know, she's going down and my truck had a sensor issue, so it was at the International in, in Memphis. And I called the dispatch and whatnot. They said, okay, yeah, go ahead and go. And he helped get in the house. Like, oh no, my sister laws is gonna might pick me up. They live in Jonesboro. Okay, we have, we have somebody. We have, they're, they're going. They drop the. They're, they're drop the truck off. My truck. That's a joke. At the terminal. Okay. Yes. And I ended up finding out. I don't know if to pass when the funeral was. And they said, well, it's okay if we have somebody you know take stuff out of the truck. Give it to another driver while you're out, and we come back get you another truck. I'm like, well, technically it's not my truck, so I don't care. Just go ahead. Just make sure they get everything of value, and they did. They had all stuff all packed up for me, real good, you know. So I got the truck out now. <laughs> I made out at like 50 some odd. I forgot one of the videos. I probably said what the actual miles was, but it wasn't that much. 30, 36, 50, something like that. It wasn't wasn't that much. I think in the 30s. Because now I've got 103. I got this thing in January, and it's August now. So. <sighs> fun, fun, fun. Yeah, about got about a couple more hours, and then I can get rolling. Got this load off, pick up my other one, and um, get to the house. Yep, anyways. <laughs> 